Always start the day with goodwill. Remind yourself this is why you're practicing, this is why you're here. You've come for true happiness. Unfortunately, it doesn't mean just your own true happiness. When you can find true happiness inside, you have a lot more to offer to other people. And you're not placing any burdens on anyone. This is why your true happiness doesn't have to conflict with anyone else's, which is why we can spread thoughts of goodwill in a universal way and not be hypocritical about it. We said everyone could understand the causes for true happiness inside, be willing to act on them, and be able to act on them. That's a good wish to bring into the world. Now, whether it's going to be fulfilled or not, that depends a lot on other people's actions, too. You can't really control what other people are going to do or say or think. But you can have some control over your motivation in dealing with other people to make sure that you don't want to do anything that would get in the way of their finding true happiness. This is where goodwill is different from love. Love is very particular. As the Buddha said, from love comes hatred. In other words, if someone abuses people you love, okay, you hate them. If someone is nice to people you hate, you're going to hate those people too. If someone is good to people you love, okay, you're going to love those people. It's all very partial. But goodwill isn't partial. It goes deeper than your affections and down into your wish for everybody to be happy, regardless of whether you like them or not. So try to cultivate this attitude every day. When you get up in the morning, before you go to bed at night, if you take a nap in the afternoon, when you take your nap, as you go to sleep, spread thoughts of goodwill. Wake up, spread thoughts of goodwill. That way goodwill frames the day and frames your practice. Then you think about your motivation being here, not just here at the monastery, but here on earth. You realize that you can be a lot lighter on the world in this way, and you can be a force for the good. So let those thoughts give your practice energy. Then you turn back to the breath. Try to stay as centered as you can throughout the day. So you can put the principles of goodwill into action. Simply by the way you breathe. You can breathe in a way that's really comfortable. You realize that you don't have to breathe in uncomfortable ways. Nobody's forcing you to. You just allowed it to happen. Here's one way you can, here in the present moment, find a way of showing goodwill for yourself. That's very immediate and very tangible. And it puts the mind in a much better mood so that it's more likely to want to think thoughts of goodwill and act on those thoughts too. All these things have to come from within, and it's up to you to give rise to them. So think in ways that motivate you, and keep your practice on course. And the practice of goodwill is an excellent way of doing that.